Hi everyone, welcome to Paw Paw's Workshop. Today's video is all about a special request that I received from the folks on the Inventables Forum. A discussion about the collets. What are they good for? How are they used? How tight should they be? What type to use? A lot of questions. So today I'm going to try to answer that and hopefully if you have some comments and feedback please leave a comment and let's create a discussion on how best to use them and make it safe when we're doing our carving. Let's get started. To begin with, collets come in all different sizes and shapes. Let's pick the right one for your application. This first one is a collet from a Dremel. It holds an eighth inch bit and it's very common. To be able to use the collet, first you just slip off the tip off of the Dremel, insert the collet into it, and then slip the screw cap back onto it. Next, you just insert the appropriate bit into the Dremel and hand tighten it down. It doesn't really need to be all of that tight, it just needs to be secure. Hand tight works just fine and the bit is held in by friction. Now this is the collet from the Roto Zip, and I've had this for a long time and it's been a very good tool. And I wanted to show you this one. This one is actually a little bit different design and it actually will be able to be clamped down from both sides. So it's held in by friction on both sides of it that holds the bit as well as holds it in place in the roto zip. The bit that they use is an eighth inch diameter shaft. So could this work in the 611 router? Technically, yes it can. The problem that you're going to have, even though this is a spiral bit, is that the tip of the bit will not actually cut into anything. And I'm going to have to actually look to see if there's some bits available that basically is an end mill that would actually cut. I'd actually like to try to see if this would cut in the X-carve. So that's going to be something that I'm going to experiment with in the future. But for now, this eighth inch bit would work if you so desired in the 611 router. To be able to set this up, okay, this will get inserted right into that position and then this nut that holds it in place will screw in just like that. Now you can see that this is flush and that's really what you're looking for and that's automatic on the roto zip. And then the bit will slide in and again you don't have to shove it in far. All you're looking for is really the length of the collet itself. So I'm going to put this button in now and I can go ahead and tighten it in place. Now how tight is tight? All you need to be able to do is snug it up about a quarter of a turn and that's all you need to do. On the DeWalt 611 which I use on the X-Carve the quarter inch collet is actually built in to the nut that holds it in place. So this will accept a quarter inch bit that will just slide right into it and some people think that it has to go all the way down to that plastic sleeve. That is not true. In fact, I like to leave a little space. And this is the insert. Now the important thing is that this is an insert that I got from Inventables and the outside diameter is a quarter of an inch and it fits flush in place. Now you can select the desired bit. The important thing is this is an eighth inch diameter uh, shaft on the bit and this will slide directly into the insert that is for the 611 router. 
And it's important that these match. So the outside diameter is a quarter of an inch, and the inside is an eighth inch. So you can use any eighth inch bit that you want to be able to accomplish the desired results. Now let's take a look at the 611 router, because this is more than likely why you're looking at this video, is dealing with the X-Carve. The insert, you want to make sure, slides in. This dark end and this solid part will slide in first. And that allows for this area here to be able to clamp on to the bit when it's tightened. So you want to slide that in and make it where it's flush across the top of the collet. So then this bit can slide in. Now I do want to show you one thing. I want to show you one thing. If this slides in, you can see that doesn't really need to go all the way in. If you hold this out an eighth of an inch or so, that is just fine. There's no reason that it has to be butted up to it. Will it hurt anything if you do? No, it really won't. So, again, as I've said earlier, I like to be able to hold this off a little bit from it. And if you'll see, there is plenty of material there that is going to grab hold and hold the bit in place. Again, this is a friction fit. So let's go ahead and slide this in. Again, we want that flush. And then the bit can slide in. And from there, we're just going to go ahead and screw this in place. Now, right now, it's hand tight. How tight should it be? I'm going to get the wrench. We have it locked in position. And I'm going to turn it about a quarter to a half a turn. And that's all that's needed. So when you need to change the bit, let's say you're doing two-stage carving or you just want to change it, but you don't want to move the router itself, because you haven't over tightened it, it actually should be easy. So to be able to change the bit, I'm just going to lock it in place, take the wrench, slip it on, and then you can easily undo it. And nothing moves. The router does not move from its position. So give that a try. And I think you'll find being able to use the two-stage carving and being able to change the bits will be a lot easier. So remember, you're going to tighten this about a half a turn, maybe three-quarters of a turn, and that should be sufficient to hold the bit in place. And with the insert removed, then you can use any quarter-inch bit that you choose. Now this particular bit came from Inventables but you don't have to use just the Inventables bits. Now this collet is a little bit different. This actually came out of a Makita router. The inside diameter is a quarter of an inch, so it will accept any quarter inch bits. And this one looks considerably different than what fits for the 611 router. Now for this Makita, I actually have two collets. The outside di diameters are identical, but the inside diameters are different. This one will hold a 3 8 inch uh, diameter bit. Now I want to take a little bit closer look and show you. If I take the collet from the 611 router and measure the inside diameter, you can see that it's 0.25 of an inch. If I can hold the calipers still, there you go. 0.25 of an inch. Now this is the one from that Milwaukee router and you can see if I measure this on the inside that it is going to be the quarter inch as well. 0.25 of an inch. 
So when you're shopping for the collets for your particular router, you need to make sure that the inside diameter and the outside diameter, in this case 0.44 inches, will work on your particular router. So here, two different collets on the inside diameter with exactly the same outside diameter. And you can see on this collet for the 611 router, and that was the different size, 0 0.40. Looking at the bits, check this out. This is the one from a big box store, and it's 0.25 of an inch. And that's what you're looking for, and that's very commonly sold. Then if you take the bit from the Inventables, and you can look at this one, and let's measure this, and it again will be the 0.25 of an inch. So these will work in any of the collets with a 0.25 or a quarter of an inch for the inside diameter. Now on the smaller bits, for the eighth inch bits, this is 0 0.12, 0 0.13. I don't have a calipers that will go for three digits, so the 0.125. But this is also important. So this one, if I measure the outside diameter, and this is the insert for the 611 router, you can see that it's actually 0.24 of an inch on this side, but looking at the other side, it is going to be measured right at the 0.25. And that's what you want to be able to do. So make sure that when you're ordering the collets for your router, make sure that it fits. Now here's the one that was from the Milwaukee, and it was from the uh, 3 8 inch bit, and that is exactly the same diameter of the inside of this particular collet. Now these bits aren't used that much anymore, and this is actually from a very, very old router, an old bit. As you can see, there's a lot of different types and styles of collets, depending on the tool that you're using. And it's important to make sure that you match the correct collet with the tool and the bit you're using. Hi everyone, thank you for watching my video today. If you like the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it so you'll be notified on the different videos that I upload. Also, check out the videos over here to be able to stay up to date on the happenings in my shop. So again, thank you for watching my videos.